Hello, you pros, and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy, Alvin Drill. As you can see, I'm in front of a computer. This one is Windows 10, can be Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 11. The process is going to be the same. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the BIOS version of a Dell Optiplex 5080 Micro. So this is how it looks. I'm going to show you in a few more seconds. This computer doesn't have Windows installed. It has VMware, which is a version of Linux where I that I use to do my labs, okay? Because this computer is really good. The other thing that we need is a USB, and the service stack for this machine. The service stack is a label somewhere on the case of this device and you have to find it. Once you have that, we're going to go to the website dell.com over here. The website is going to look different depending when you visit it. From here, of course, you're going to go to support. You go to drivers and downloads. Over here is, uh, is you're going to paste the service stack for this machine. Once you do that, you click search and it's going to take you where you need to go. So here it's all the drivers for this endpoint. As you can see, Optiplex 5080. I don't know why it has the icons of the big ones <laughs> since this is the micro, but I'm sure I type the um, uh, service stack correctly. So this is the one. So from here, you can see all that information and I'm going to scroll down a little and click on find drivers. So these are all the drivers you will ever need for this model. So as you can see here, you have different operating systems and at the top over here, you we have the latest BIOS, but maybe there are a lot of drivers like there, there, there normally is. So you can come here and click and find BIOS and look for BIOS. And it's only going to show you the latest over here. So I'm going to scroll down a little so we can see it in more detail. The, the new version is 1.14.0 right and this one came in august uh, 10 2022 so two months ago there is a new version uh, also if, if you need older versions you can click here and you're going to see all the previous ones from the beginning so i believe right right now this endpoint in my case has 1.3 so we're going to check in a few more seconds so my, my point is uh, there is a, it is an update okay so we close this as you can see it's around 40 megabytes and you have to download it so I already have it over here. And as I mentioned before, we also need a USB flash drive. So I already have one connected, as you can see here, my IT workshop, like the name of this channel. However, this USB has to be bootable. So I have done a video in the past on which, well, I show how to create a bootable flash drive using um, free software. So if you want to watch that video, you can click on the top right of this screen. So it's needed in new models. It might not be needed, but better to be safe than sorry. After you have that, go into the USB and you're going to see these three files. You don't have to do anything with them is what it makes the USB bootable. So you, the next step is going to be to copy the update, drag and drop, just like that. And once you have that, we don't have anything else to do on this computer. So we close everything and we're going to shut down the computer uh, because we are going to continue on the op Dell Optiplex 5080. Welcome back. So this is the Dell Optiplex 5080, as you can see over here, it's very small. This is the micro model. So this is how it looks. And this is the label, the service tag that I was talking about. It's somewhere on the case. Sometimes it's on the top, on the bottom, but it has to be somewhere. So this is the USB we just created, the bootable one. So many times, as I mentioned, it doesn't have to be bootable, but it's better to be safe than sorry. This one is uh, eight gigabytes, can be any size, and it's USB 2.0, which is very old. You might have USB 3.0. So you connect it to any available USB port. I, I'm going to connect the monitor and the power. So I'm going to turn it on. Let me do a, a zoom in. And now I'm going to start pressing F12 on the keyboard. I know we just have to press it once, but <laughs> you know how it works. So at the top you can see preparing for one time boot menu. So we're in the boot menu. Sometimes it's the uh, F10 key, F8 or F1, but in most cases is F12, okay? To get access here. So the uh, BIOS version is 1.3.2. So it's kind of old. This is the Optiplex 5080. And the operating system is VMware ES. XI, as I mentioned before, this is for virtual machines and all that, so it's very useful. So uh, from here, we have to go to BIOS flash update. We press enter here and it's going to give us this menu. I'm going to zoom in and at the bottom is showing us the version that we have, one 3.2. On the top right, we have to click over there to have access to the USB, to the bootable USB. So over here, as you can see, we we have the three files that we have seen in Windows, and this is the update, the Optiplex 5080 1.14. You make sure you select the correct one, and then you click OK. 
So it's going to take a few seconds and now it's going to give us an overview. As you can see at the top is the new version, 1.14, and at the bottom is the old version, 1.3.2. So it's just showing us what we are going to get, the old one and the new one. So after you are ready, you have to click on begin flash update. It's going to give us this message. This utility will update the BIOS, um, the system BIOS and firmware during this update procedure. Your system will restart. Do not interrupt the process when it begins. So make sure that this connected correctly pray that there is not a blackout so because otherwise your computer might become unusable okay once you read that you're going to click yes and the process is going to start it's going to take a few a few seconds maybe 10 seconds 15 seconds and it's going to reboot by itself so as you can see here updating the firmware do not power down your system so all the process took around for this model around 12 minutes so it's kind of long I'm showing you the device, what it's doing while we are updating. And while we're waiting, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps my channel a lot. So thank you, thank you very much. So uh, the video is sped up, as you can see, you don't have to wait all the time, but it's going to do this in around 10 to 12 minutes. Depending on your model, it might take more or less time. At the end, you're going to see firmware update successful rebooting your machine. So this reboot is the longest. So don't worry about it, okay? Uh, it took for me 40 seconds. Obviously, the video is sped up over here. And then we see the Dell logo. So I'm going to start pressing F12 to get access to the boot menu one more time. So after a few seconds of waiting, I'm in the boot menu one, once again. And at the bottom, we can see that the BIOS version is 1.14. That means the upgrade has been successful. And that's how you upgrade the BIOS version for a Dell Optiplex 5080 using a USB. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.